All right, you guys are about to see an epic battle. For anybody new to this channel, though, I want to explain something to you guys uh, before we get started. So these shingles, these Timberline HDZs, you don't have to nail on this line here where that common bond is. Sorry for the wind. It's because they have this layer lock technology that crimps the common bond for you. Therefore, they've been able to increase the nail area by, they call it 600%. So that's why you'll see us not exactly nailing in that common bond. So I've always been more of an advocate for proper nail placement. That's kind of out the window on this one because we have such a wide area to nail in. So um, I've also been a bit of an advocate for you know, not really wearing a pouch while you shingle. So you'll see me not wearing a pouch versus somebody else who is wearing a pouch. You guys can kind of judge if a pouch is necessary for you while you shingle. All right, I'm going to let you guys watch this. Enjoy this video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you. What's, <laughs> what's up, YouTube? This is Zach with Veteran Construction. We're getting ready to have the first ever shingler race. Um, I've usually got a lot of people working on the job, and it's pretty rare that we can ever get two sides to race on. Um, so this is a, a hip right here and it measures 18 by 36. So that's three and one, maybe uh, three and two. So we're both gonna have three square and two bundles on our side, which comes out to 11 bundles. And we're gonna do a little race here. This race is gonna be pretty similar to the roofer, the 2020 Roofing Olympics I'm gonna be holding in November, except uh, we're gonna be building it. So we're not gonna be building a hip, we're gonna be building it square. So, um, so what we're doing here is we, we're going to take a couple minutes as soon as I hand the camera off to spread out our bundles, uh, how we like them. We've got our gutter apron on already. Um, we both agreed that we're going to snap lines for our starter so that that's going to be included. We're going to um, run out these bundles and then we're going to have to cut our, our hips back and that'll determine the winner once the entire side is shingled and all your little scraps are cut off your little corners there. So um, yeah, I think that covers about everything. Um, we're gonna keep the coil nails in the center here and we both broke up our starter and we just both got a stack on our side um, Do you have coils in your gun already? Well in your gun. Oh, you got them on you. That's not fair <laughs> All right, I'll let you have that boy cub go put this coil in my gun because my guns empty Well, I find another 30 seconds of stuff to talk about <laughs> Tim just tell them about yourself here you good? Top left is recording. Yep. All right. You good? good? All right, All go. Right, go. Tim actually beat me one time.
I didn't do the workout my own like an idiot.
feeling real tight. <laughs> Turn the camera on him and he walks away.
I was just about to say that. That's something I never. That's something I. Something I've never seen. Two minutes. That's 
I'd say that's a safe bet. Oh, I hear some shit talking over there. What? Never. Por qué? You want some?
helm. The seal right here. Oh, it's bad. Boy, oh my. Look, if he cares enough, he can censor it and post. Brad deserves the fame.
We almost had a burn hole in that hose. Oh. <laughs> True set pass right there. Perfect timing. Oh, it's going to be a close one. How close? Now is this, is this his 
cut too, or it's straight up shingled. Gotta find out if you guys got a cut your hips or not. Or is it just straight up down from the edge? Okay. That's it, man. Maybe he's got his cut already. He's got one side cut. Oh, come on now. that back. She was cut like butter. So nice. <laughs> oh. Yeah, really close. Really close. Yeah. Buy a bundle. Huh? Buy a bundle.
<laughs> oh, stretching it out on the fucking rig. Getting bent. Is he done or is he dead? Damn! Oh, dude, he's got like two bundles left, man. He can't do it. He said he's got like two bundles left to do. He can't do it. <laughs> dude, he just can't, man. No, he said he's done. <laughs> I thought you were smoking me the whole time. I tried to the first as well. And now, can you cut here right when I was cutting my last time? I was cutting about 16 hours yesterday. Oh, I know you're smoking. I was cheating you on the fucking knee. Four hours. Yeah. Whew. That was a good race, though, dude. If it was anybody else, I would have relaxed. <laughs> Tim is a, is a killer. This guy's been shingling me for two or three years. And he, he came on. He came on good enough that I can't even teach him nothing, you know? Whew. That was a good freaking race, though. I'm not shingling again all day. The rest is yours. Get on that double <laughs> I'm done for. I'm going to go, uh, I got some business matters to take care of. Some things, some calls to make. <laughs> Man, what a competition, though. That's going to be, yeah, I know you are. This is going to be pretty close to what the competition is going to be like. And you see how close this is. You know what I'm saying? So I expect these races to be, you know, first and second place are probably going to be separated by less than a minute maybe even less than half a minute so man that's why we're doing these competitions you could have i'm sure anybody who watched this could watch me do it and him do it and pick pick up good things from both of us and you know apply it to your own game that's what the, that's what this is about it's not about being the fastest it's really not but you guys know damn good and well that uh you know speed matters when you're getting paid by the square you know without sacrificing quality so let's go see how my how my uh, side turned out. Boy, Cub, move this bundle for me. All right, go go, go take over his side. Make sure that you, you get all the little squirrel chewings out. All right. I don't think that's bad. And I'll bet you most of these are sealed up by now. You know, these, these GAF seal really good. Look at that. It's already starting. That's sealed. That's sealed. That's sealed, so these are going to seal with the rest of the sun by the end of the day. That's why you can nail right here with this common bond. These HDZs are a little different. That's probably why you noticed my gun going a little faster. It's probably contributed to why I wore out so much. And just so you guys know, ridge cap is six inches. So if this is the ridge line right here, right there, ridge cap is going to come over and it's going to cover it right here up both sides so that's going to get covered as well as this, these little corners don't let anybody tell you that these corners aren't okay i've been doing that for my entire shingling career and the guys who showed me that have been doing it for their entire career you'll see it all over youtube too so no sense in making every piece like that there's no there's no no sense in that so you know and every one of these will get covered just fine Thank you guys for watching. If you're new to this, if you're new to this channel, please hit the sub button. If you watch regularly and you haven't hit that sub button, hit that now. I know I get a couple of you every time I say it. Thank you guys. I appreciate you watching. I really do. Thanks for getting me up to 20,000 subscribers. Let's get to 50. Yeah. Thanks. All right. This is probably the second outro, but here we go. We're all wrapped up. I just want to show you guys how the final product turned out. Still got to blow it off and get the caught gun up here yet, but. It's done, shingles are nice and straight. Uh, we covered up their vents, got ridge vent up here. Just got stove exhaust there. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about some of this stuff. So um, I know there's a lot of people who may be watching my channel for the first time. Um, and there's also a lot of people who think they know what they're talking about and they just blast out a bunch of random stuff and they don't make any sense at all. And I want to tell you guys, just be careful what you're saying. Cause like this homeowner here hired me because he watches my videos on YouTube. So, you know, he's going to be watching this video and I want you guys to know that what I did over here, you see how this ridge cap covers everything. There's no chance for water to get in there. Some people are probably going to be saying that I got to run it all the way to the hip and it's got to be flush in there. There's no point in having five inches extra shingle there. You know, if we come right here, 
that's fine because the ridge cap covers it. And then over here, you probably saw me add a couple small pieces in. For example, right here and right here especially, you know. And these things are sealed down strong. I can't even get them up. But, you know, as long as there's no nails here, there's no chance for a leak. Sometimes the shingle just lands short of it and you have to add that little piece so that the reveal's still there. Because if I didn't add that piece, you'd be seeing that little white line on the shingle right there. All right, so that has to be done and it's okay if I can add those little small pieces because the ridge cap, you get so many nails in these ridge cap, it's never gonna blow off, it's never gonna cause a leak or anything like that. All right, you see how nice and straight this turned out. Roof's a little bit wavy, but the shingles are straight. Yeah, I think we're about all done. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed watching that video. I really, really appreciate everybody who watches and you guys being a part of this. And I hope you guys managed to learn a little something from here. You know, that's what this channel's about. It's not. It's not about proving who's the fastest or anything about or anything like that. It's all about sharing my knowledge, right? And everybody else's knowledge that I, you know, that I've learned things from, you know? So that's why I've got other YouTubers I try to get involved with and things like that. So we can bring you guys the best content and hopefully get your square count up, you know, make more money. So that's what this all is about. So again, thanks for being a part of this. Bye.